Hello everyone and welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now I get asked an awful lot how I make my edible image plaque cakes. It was just an idea I came up with. Instead of having the image laid flat on the top of the cake, it, I thought it would be more interesting if it was popping out of the cake. So here's a very short quick tutorial to show you how to do it. So here this is what you're going to need. I've got some modelling paste. Now, depending on the size of the image, it depends on roughly how much you will need. So you just need to assume. So I'm using half of this image I have here because the other side's for the back. So I just roughly like placed it over the top just to get a rough idea and just made a little bit extra. Icing sugar, edible glue. These spacers that I always recommend that you invest in, they're exactly five millimetres thick. A rolling pin, a brush, that's just for your edible glue, a few cocktail sticks and a scalpel or a craft knife as long as it's only ever been used with sugar work and the blade is stainless steel for hygiene reasons. So let's start. All I'm going to do firstly is roll this modelling paste. I've only just made this so it's nice and soft and I do have a separate tutorial on how to make your own modelling paste and I will place it on the link below this tutorial. So all I'm going to do is give it a little knead. It makes it lovely and pliable. But once we leave these plaques to set for a good 24 to 48 hours, depending on the humidity where you actually are, they will end up rock hard and they will stick out of that cake beautifully. So I'm going to do it roughly to the size of this. And then all you do with this small rolling pin is just roll it out. Okay, that's all we need to do with that. That'll be exactly five millimeters thick because we've used spaces. Now the next job is the image. This is in an airtight food grade bag at the moment and this image is a photograph I have taken of a gift bag that I actually quite like. I think it's really pretty. So all I'm going to do with this first um, is cut out the image. So just getting some scissors. I like to leave it on the acetate, on the food grade acetate while I'm cutting it out. I need to be really careful with this. I'm just going to cut straight up first before I cut the shape that I actually want. And then the other one, make sure you put straight back into your food grade bag. I'm going to be using this on the back, but I want the front to set first. Still leaving it on its acetate because it gives you more control when cutting. You then start to cut around your image. Right, I'm just going to move these out of the way. That's perfect. So the next job to check that the paste I've rolled out is large enough and it is no problem. So all we do now is peel away the back in and that's the part that's all edible. And I like to use edible glue. You can use a steamer and water but be very careful and make sure it's all even. So just place your edible glue on the back of your edible icing sheet. like so and then just place it on to your modelling paste. You'll notice I'm taking my time here and it can develop air bubbles so make sure it is stuck down thoroughly. Now before I start distorting it I want to make sure I've got plenty of icing sugar underneath. And then to leave it to set, I'm going to leave it on here for a while and then place it on a piece of bacon parchment. 
Now with your crafts knife, all you do is literally cut around your image. I'm really happy with that. I think I've just got a little bit of extra icing, just that. Literally almost finished. This is how easy they are. Before I place the cocktail sticks in the bottom of here, I'm going to put this on a piece of baking parchment just so at the moment I can tell the contrast between the image and the background you can't really see very well just so that you can really see what I'm doing. Okay then, so all we're going to do now is insert some cocktail sticks. Now if you have a customer buying this cake and it's for a child, all I do is tell them to remove the cocktail sticks for health and, sa health and safety reasons. But when you literally take the plaque off the cake to be able to cut into it anyway, these cocktail sticks are visible so it is allowed. It's just like when you've got numbers sticking out of there or ages or names or stars and you're using cocktail sticks for that purpose. So all you do, remember this is five millimeters thick and it may take some practice. You just gently insert them. Remember it's got to support the plaque but also hold inside the cake. You do this literally as soon as you've put the image on top whilst the modelling paste is still soft so that you can manipulate it back into the right shape. Okay then, so you've inserted all your cocktail sticks. I'm just going to pick this up so you can see. And it is literally as simple as that. I'm going to now leave that for 24 to 48 hours just to set. Depending on where you are in the world, the conditions may be slightly different and you may need to leave it for longer. If you are struggling with your modeling paste to set due to the humidity, a good tip is placing it in the oven on 30 degrees centigrade because it acts like a natural heat wave and it will dry out your sugar much faster. Happy baking everyone and I hope I've showed you something a little different today.